Prince Harry has been wrong-footed. I omit Scobie's controversial royal book with it causing rift between him and Meghan Markle. It has been claimed. It has also been revealed a mystery royal staff member tried to persuade a prominent commentator on the monarchy to start a petition with the UK government to strip the pair of their titles. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are not officially linked to Endgame, but the book puts forward a hugely positive narrative surrounding the pair. It has reignited debates over their titles, with critics suspecting Meghan has been involved in some capacity. Royal author Lady Colin Campbell has revealed she was approached by a former private secretary to a member of the firm to start a petition to strip the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of their titles. She said, I said I wasn't going to do it because I thought it was a dangerous precedent to set. And there is a dangerous precedent involved with this. But the fact of the matter is the amendment is tabled under what is really a traitor's amendment. And there is a feeling that Harry and Meghan have betrayed the interests of the monarchy and the country and the commonwealth. I think if the family doesn't do something there's no good reason why parliament doesn't do something so I am basically in favor of it. I think this, amidst Scobie's nonsense, has been the final straw, because there's absolutely no doubt in my mind, and I don't think there's any doubt in anybody with a brain, that Meghan is behind it. I also understand that she wrongfooted Harry that Harry didn't realize that any of this was coming, and that there's hell to be paid at the moment in Montecito. King Charles is understood to be unlikely to strip the couple of their titles, instead wanting to leave the door open for a reconciliation with his son. Royal commentator Angela Levin reckons the door is always open for Harry to return to the fold. She said, it's not going to work. I don't think everyone's going to vote for that. It's a very old-fashioned thing to do and I don't think that King Charles will have anything to do with it either. Charles is in a terrible position, but I think like a lot of parents who have wayward children, they love the child but they hate what they're doing. Because Meghan is so dramatic and unpredictable, and Harry is so crushed, the door is always open for him to come back. However, she added, I think it would be very hard for him to get the nation to like him, because of what he said about his father.